So our high school 2022 program has the syllabus and we'll discuss about the syllabus in this video. So we'll start with the introduction of the ISO 2022. We'll understand about what is ISO, right? And how does it help to introduce this ISO 2022? What are those committee which are involved in that? We'll understand who developed this ISO 2022. As I said about the committee, we'll discuss on that. Issues with the different message standards. <clears throat> we would understand about the issues with the earlier messaging formats. Uh, we'll take some examples of uh, uh, empty messaging and some proprietary messaging of the Fedwire. We'll show it how there was an issue and how those are mitigated in this new ISO 2022 messaging. So we'll also understand about how ISO 2020 will help. We'll understand why need of ISO 2022 arised. We'll understand what the uh, Swift CEO had said about, about this ISO 2022 need has come up. We'll understand about the XML, why it is useful in communicating to the financial industry, what is its uses in ISO 2022 now. We'll understand about the ISO 2022 business domains. We have certain domains into the Swift payment areas like gas management, ISO uh, packs and all. We'll understand about those in depth. Message definitions, advantages of adopting ISO 2022, granularity of data in Swift MT and ISO 2022, why move to ISO 2022 now, impacted banking areas, there are certain banking areas or the applications which would be impacted by this ISO 2022 proof. And what are those areas which are affected and what as a bank or a business analyst or the one who is responsible to help bank to migrate, how they can assist in a move. Infrastructure considerations. What are the different infrastructure considerations that needs to be taken in place in order to move into the ISO 2022. We'll understand the definition of CBPR plus that is cross-border payment and reporting plus. Who are they? And then we'll understand about the user's guidelines which are introduced by the SWIFT in the website. We'll understand about the high value payment system, not much, but uh, the definition part and the differences we'll understand about CBPR plus and high value payment system plus. Then we'll pitch into the world migration plan to ISO 2022. Now, world is migrating across the different payment system, right? Especially into high value payment system and also the global players like Swift, Visa, MasterCard, and all. So, their migration plan will understand in terms of when they are supposed to use ISO 2022 and how their existing messaging will be retired. Now, next set will understand about Swift approach for ISO 2022 migration. Now, each of the networks will be playing major important role in their subscribers or the financial institutions who are part of it in order to help them to migrate into the ISO 2022, for example, SEPA. SEPA has 36 countries and 36 countries, they can have multiple you know, banks involved in that. So SEPA would have helped them to migrate into ISO 200. The same way SIFT is also helping the financial institution who is part of it across the world to help them into migrate into ISO 2022 migration plan. So <clears throat> we'll understand the different approaches which they have brought for this SIFT migration plan and then translation services which it has, which helps them to translated it from MT to MX and MX to MT. Tools are available to enable CBPR plus users guidelines. Certain tools are available in the SWIFT website itself where it can be used or the bank logged in subscribers can be used who can use it to uh, test those or understand 
the basis of migration. And very important topic after that will pitch in that is into swift transaction management. So during the coexistence phase, the swift transaction manager plays a very important vital role for the financial institutions to take care of their normal day-to-day -day transactions to ensure that their transactions are not impacted till the time the system is moved to the ISO 2022. So at their own pace, they can develop it, but yeah, there is a deadline for that, that is till November 2025. Under Swift Transaction Manager, we'll understand how the transactions behave today and without TM, and we'll understand how transactions will behave tomorrow with Transaction Manager. We'll understand how does the Transaction Manager work in depth, and what is after November 2022 with TM, Validation rules to a 2EM transactions. What are the different validation rules that take place in the TM? Number one priority ISO 2022 data elements. What are those elements? Data elements, XML elements, perhaps you can call it as, which are number one priority in terms of the transaction manager or the, for the SWIFT in a payment. How does SWIFT TM mediate between the banks? Right? So there are certain way that they can get connected to the Swift Transaction Manager, right? And Swift Transaction Manager is again deployed into the Swift network. How do they mediate between the banks? We'll understand about in that depth. Then we'll go into the different channels which banks will be using in this coexistence phase. And then once the coexistence phase is over, what is the channel they'll be keep on using? We'll understand Fin Plus channel, API channel, and Fin channel in-depth, how do I prepare for the ISO 2022 as a bank? That question should come across for every bank or a business analyst who is responsible for them to migrate to ISO 2022. So some of the key points are available for you to understand over there. Then there are certain comparison of MT and MX messages, which will help you to understand what are their respective MTs of those MX messages, that is ISO 2022 messages, for example, back says your aid to MT103 and all. Then we'll move into the ISO 2022 messaging. This is where a lot of our time will be consumed as well. Key differences between the MT and ISO 2022 will understand the different, there, there, were, there are certain ways which were denoted in Swift MTs and the same thing are denoted in certain other ways in ISO 2022. For example, um, for example, you can, take a bank or financial institution which were used in empties, Swift empties, but in ISO 2022, it is called as agents. Same way there are certain differences, how they are called out. So we'll understand about that. We have Swift Fin Plus message structure. We'll understand the different, uh, diff I mean, we'll understand about the same Swift Fin Plus message structure. That means the different headers it has, the different business document it has, what are the extra Swift net headers it has, what are its importance, what are the business application header, which is part of the Swift message structure itself. We'll understand the different part of those as well. Then we'll understand about the XML element, which are used in the ISO 2022 messaging. It is the respective name called for the tags in Swift empties. We'll understand about that XML element, certain rules on the XML element that needs to be applied and to ensure that those elements meet to that criteria. And then we'll understand about the rules. Like we had in empties, like network validated rules uses guideline rules, right? Same way we have certain rules in ISO 2022 also. What are those called? We'll understand in depth in the rules as well. And we'll take some of the examples to understand how in empties were taken and how in MX it is so. We'll take CBPR plus users guideline handbook to understand those as well. And then a very important topic into the ISO 222 messaging that is business application header. Now business application header remains 
uh, I mean, business application header needs to be available for all the ISO 2022 across the business areas, whether it be the payment initiation messages, payments and clearing, payments clearing and settlement, cash management and all. So if business application header is understood, then it is applicable across the different domains or different messaging. So that will help a lot. We'll be spending a good amount of time in business application header as well. And then finally, we'll move into the different messaging. As part of this syllabus, we'll understand about the back scissor two in payment clearing settlement and payments clearing and settlement messaging, back scissor two, back scissor four, back scissor eight, back scissor nine, Payment Chaser 1, Chaser 2, zero one two, 1, 2. And cash management messages we'll understand about 052, 053, 054, 6, and 7. So this is all this part of the syllabus which we'll be covering, right? And we'll take a few of the scenarios to help you understand each of the messages so that it is easier for you to understand to the ISO 2022 messaging as well. So these are all about the syllabus part. 